I'm going to demonstrate how to add an inline citation in Microsoft Word for Mac 2011. So first you obviously need to have Word open and you need to have a document open. And I'm going to write a sample sentence. So I have a fact here and I need to cite it with a reference. So the first thing I'm going to do is go up to the ribbon and click Document Elements, go over to where it says References, right here on the right, and click Manage. And I don't have any citations in my list already, so I'm going to have to create a new one with the plus symbol right here. Now I'm going to use as an example an article I wrote on my blog, inkslingerindustries.com. I'm going to pick the last article I happen to publish, which is The Decline and Fall of the Mass Market Paperback. So I need to write in everything that I know about this article. Oh, first, you can choose a different type of source material, which will create different uh, fields for you to choose among. So if you have a book, there'll be different information than if you're citing a website. So we pick website for this example. Uh, the author is me, Eric Johnson. The web page is the decline and fall of the market paperback. The website is Inkslinger Industries. I'm going to copy and paste the URL. Um, let's see, the date it was published is September 17th, 2012. So 2012, September 17th. Uh, the year accessed is right now or whenever you did your research. And so that is 2012, it's still September. And today is the 26th, I think. And then that's all we're gonna put in. So then we click OK, and it added that citation to the list. And uh, there's a couple more things we can do. We can choose how the citation's presented with APA, Chicago, MLA, or Turabian rules. So it just changes how things are presented a little bit in the inline citation and changes things a little bit more if you have a full-length footnote. So that's that.